Session 9 isn't your typical horror movie with an obvious boogeyman. It's more of a psychological thriller that is hauntingly intelligent and cerebral. The atmosphere of the movie is thick with tension while methodically exploring psychological themes throughout the film. The film follows an asbestos cleaning crew taking on a massive project at Danvers State Hospital, an abandoned insane asylum filled with an airy sense of dread. The crew is led by Gordon, played by Peter Mullen, a man teetering on the edge of his own sanity, and his right-hand man, Phil, played by David Caruso. Together they lead an ensemble cast, including Josh Lucas, Stephen Jevedon, and Brendan Sexton III. The sense of dread is almost immediate, and as they navigate deeper into the hospital, Mike discovers a series of therapy session tapes. The tapes ranging from 1 to session 9 become a dark focus that draws Mike in, leading to horrifying revelations about a former patient. Mary, I want you to try to remember what happened 22 years ago on Christmas night in Lowell. That's where we grew up? Yes. Can you tell me what happened that night in Lowell? Uh, nothing happened. As for a little historical backdrop, Danvers, Massachusetts, the setting of the film, was formerly known as Salem Village, the very same village notorious for the Salem witch trials back in the 1600s. This detail has nothing to do with the film in particular, but it adds to the eeriness of it after the fact. 1871. That's when she went up, gentlemen. We called her the Kirkbride Building, named after Dr. Thomas Kirkbride. What makes Session 9 so haunting is its claustrophobic realism. The camera work feels voyeuristic at times, and at other times mimicking the perspective of the subject, giving the film a documentary-style feel which adds to the chilling aspect of the movie. Another aspect that adds to the creepiness of the film is that it was shot in the real Danvers State Hospital. No complicated sets or dramatic alterations. What you see is basically how it looked when the movie production arrived at the abandoned asylum. No effects or CGI's needed to create a sense of fear. It was already built in. I mean, it was as if 5,000 people had walked out of a building and left all this equipment and it slowly just sort of you know, decayed and totally amazing location. <laughs> the film crew themselves reported feeling haunted during the production. David Caruso thought he saw someone walk past a window, but kept it quiet since he thought people would think he was crazy. So when you get that sense of chilling dread watching the movie, know that it was felt by those who made it as well. Then we played upstairs. Peter turned off the light and hid, and Mary tried to find him. Session 9 is a psychological experience. It combines the power of a haunting setting, solid performances, and deeply unsettling themes to create a maze of psychological terror that leads to a shocking conclusion. If you're in the mood for an unnerving thriller that elevates itself above the usual tropes and cheap scares, the haunting slow burn of Session 9 is the perfect cinematic experience. <laughs>